Hey you two, Sermall 51 here. All right, we got a pretty neat tractor here. Um, I saw at the plow day the other weekend. It's a McConnell Mark, and they were made in Kenston, North Carolina. And uh, I had some information on them uh, pulled up online, and I uh, kind of just give you a little short history of it. Uh, the McConnell the McConnell tractor was formed in 1989 as part of the McConnell um, LTD. Uh, with the purchase of Massey Ferguson's full-wheel drive articulated tractors. McConnell had been formed in 1961 by Warden McConnell, and his company purchased the Marshall Tractor Company of England, formerly uh, they were the Leland Tractor, I guess, brand, and sold it in 1985. Uh, McConnell bought the Chisholm Rider Company in 1986, which uh, manufactured combines, bean harvesters, grape harvesters, and they uh, would convert farm all tractors into high crop models. And um, I've got some pictures of those. I'll see if I can put it on the community page. But um, they were real like a cane, sugar cane tractors. Um, but they would have special brackets and stuff that would, and uh, extensions on the axles and things that would raise them up real high, more than a high, or a high crop or a high utility or something. But Or not high utility. But uh, the United Company makers uh, in plant corn equipment, uh, this was purchased in 1987. In 1987, they began redistributing and remanufactured Kubotas. Uh, Massey Ferguson's factory in uh, Brantford, Ontario, Canada, uh, manufactured the Massey Ferguson 5200 Trider. And McConnell uh, transferred manufacturing to their plant in Kenton, North Carolina. McConnell continued building the 5200 for the Massey Ferguson and then began selling it in yellow liver, uh, livery, I guess, under the McConnell Mark name. And like I say, they were right down in uh, Kenston, North Carolina, which is uh, uh, east of Goldsboro there. In 1994, uh, McConnell Tractors was purchased by Agco, reuniting the former four-wheel drive tractor company of Massey Ferguson with the rest of Massey Ferguson. Agco restyled the tractor and renamed it Agco Star. Of course, you know, Agco owns just about, uh, they're about like MTD. They've got a lot of the little little brands un under their name. Uh, after the sale of the tractor manufacturing division, McConnell later started a new division called McConnell Mark Tractors, which imported Jing Su and Jin Ma uh, tractors, tractor models from China, the McConnell Mark, uh, under the McConnell Mark brand. And uh, the, this, this particular tractor here, the 990 McConnell, McConnell Mark 990, um, here was a, it was a beast for sure. And I'll give you some specs on it right quick. The McConnell Mark 990 tractor was built by McConnell Mark, McConnell tractors after they bought the four wheel drive line, of course, from Massey Ferguson. They were discontinued after selling the line to Agco, who then created the Agco Star line. It featured a 390 horsepower Detroit diesel engine. Like I said, that was a pretty hefty engine they had in it in that uh, in the 990. Um, like I said, they introduced the 990 in 1990 and discontinued it in '94. Uh, had of course the Detroit diesel with 390 horsepower, six cylinders, um, transmission, 12 Ford gears, four wheel drive, of course, and uh. That was about it. Um, like I say, it's a pretty, pretty interesting tractor. Um, and I've got some video of it here pulling, but uh, it was a beast for sure. But you can see the styling of it. It's just like Massey. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video uh, as much as we did. And uh, we'll have some more later on. All right.